But what a career for Fairfield basketball play-by-play -play man Bob Huesler. He's been celebrating 25 years now with the Stags. He's also the voice of the Connecticut Sun and an update man at WFAN Radio in New York. Eric Dobretz has more on his latest honor. And the Huskies will have exactly one second remaining in this ball game to try and pull off a miracle. It's one of the most famous radio calls in the history of college basketball. Looking inbound, loops it far up court for George who catches it, turns around, shoots, and he got it! That call by Bob Huesler during UConn's dream season of 1990 is one that Husky fans will never forget. Fans really relate to those moments where you can deliver the emotion of the moment, and the Tate Short shot allowed me to do that. Jenkins at the foul line, floats it up, puts it through. 24 years after that shot, Huesler is still going strong on the radio, calling Fairfield basketball games and some pretty historic ones for the Stags as well. Nina gets for Ivanovic, a three for the tie, it's good! Huesler first started working for the Stags in 1983 and then left to call UConn games for a few years before returning to Fairfield. 25 years, it's like, wow, that came and, and hit me real quickly. It's like, wow, that goes by real fast. To celebrate the milestone, the Stags, in partnership with the Connecticut Sun, are honoring Huesler with a bobblehead. A bobblehead and me, it just didn't seem to be a match. I'm not one of those people who likes to call attention to what I'm doing. I'm one of those people I like to show up, do the job, and then go home. But when Fairfield proposed donating a portion of the profits from the bobbleheads to the Fairfield nursing program in memory of his wife Marcia, it seemed like a great idea. She would have loved it, loved it. My wife loved things like that. She would have had a, a great time with the idea. She would have been, if I had showed any hesitancy at all, she would have been saying, are you kidding me? Do this and enjoy it. Free throw Johnson, a quick three is good. And when he's not calling Fairfield games, you can also hear Huesler during the summer months doing the play-by-play -play for the Connecticut Sun. I love doing those games. <laughs> I love it. I, um, it's, it's really, I have, a, I have a really great basketball life. And Gilbert puts up a three and hits it. Doing play-by-play -play for college basketball games in the WNBA is not Huesler's only talent. Bob, oh, hello, Bob. Bob, how are you, Bob? I, um, He's made quite a name for himself doing updates for Mike and the Mad Dog on WFAN in New York. They've had a lot of fun with me over a number of things, including Fairfield basketball. Yeah, Fairfield lost to Yale Done. last night, Mike, in, co in college basketball. How is that possible? Whether it's been good or bad, Mike and Chris have always been ready to jump all over me. As a devoted Mets fan, it's also been a tough few years for Usler and his team on the radio. Listeners all over the metropolitan area know Usler as Mr. Met. All right, here's Mr. Met. I think there are some people out there who don't know my name is Bob because Mike always refers to me as Mr. Met. And I have, uh, I have fun with that. Hey, I have a bobblehead now. A bobblehead that he earned for his 25 years behind the microphone, calling games and creating memories for listeners all over the state. And the Huskies have won it! The Huskies have won it! This is always what I've wanted to do. And, uh, well, 25 years and counting here at Fairfield, I, I don't know if I'm going to make another 25 years, but I'd love to give them as many more as I have in me. Well, Bob Huesler will be on the call tomorrow when the Stags play Ryder at 4 o'clock. A reception to honor Bob will be held before the game.